guys, it's Izzy here, and today we're going to be doing the Easter book tag. Easter does fall in March this year. I am not a fan of Easter being in March. I want it to be in April, but it's at the end of the month, so I wanted to do a book tag to feature the holiday on my channel. Let's get into Our it. Our first question is rabbits. A book that you wish would multiply. So a book you want a sequel to that doesn't have one. I'm not necessarily going to say I want a sequel of, but my answer for this is The Love Songs of W.E.B. The Boys, and this is by Honor Fan and Jeffers. This was my last five star read. I have not read a five star since that book. And how I want this to multiply is I want more five star reads. It's been since November that I've read a five star and it's March. So it's been a while and I want five star reads in my life. So that's how that book is going to multiply. So two egg, we have some Easter eggs back here. I'm gonna make y'all go on a hunt. You have to find them, but they are there. So a book that surprised you and a book that was hard to get your hands on. Oh, I didn't realize this was two questions technically. So a book that surprised me. Ooh. Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. I do kind of mention that book later, but that was my most recent read. And I thought I was going to either love it or hate it, but it was a pretty average book. And then Hunt, a book that was hard for you to get your hands on. All the Little Bird Hearts, which was nominated for the Booker Prize this year. I could not find it at Barnes & Noble on my Barnes & Noble trip this month, so I had to get it on Amazon. So, I mean, it wasn't that difficult to get my hands on. I just had to press one button on Amazon, but I could not find it at Barnes & Noble. And that one really is intriguing. Um, there's a lot of autism representation in it, and it's taken place in Italy in the 1980s, so I think that sounds very unique. Three, Lambs, a children's book that you still enjoy. I don't really know of a straight up children's book, but a middle grade book is Song for a Well. I think of this book all the time. It is about a character who is deaf and she is very eccentric and she learns a lot about wells who wells pick up things through vibrations. And she, her being deaf, she can't hear, but she can feel vibrations. And it's just such an um, inspiring story and I really enjoyed it and I hope that a lot of younger people are getting to pick up that book and see that representation and again it's just a heartwarming story and I really recommend it. Four, Spring. A book with a cover that makes you think of spring. So I read this book in the winter but Wayward by Amelia Hart. Perfect for spring. Um, the cover is green for one and I do think it was published in March of last year. I know it came in the book of the month box in March but when I was reading this book, I was like, this screams spring. This is a witchy book, but a spring witchy book. Because there are fall witchy books and there are spring witchy books. And there probably are winter and summer as well. But so far, I've only come across the spring and fall. And that one, spot on for the spring. And the cover is great for spring as well. Five, Jesus. We're just name dropping him in here. A religious or spiritual book that you love. This one was more, uh, it was not a favorite book, but that's Crossroads by Jonathan Franzen. I don't read a lot of religious books, but I love how it was handled in this one of showing how different age groups deal with the religion and how religion can divide, but it can also bring together and what religion is like in a time where it maybe not be as seen as popular or as mainstream. I thought this book handled those themes very well. Six, Raising from the Dead. A book from a deceased author. So I'm going to go with the last book that I read by a deceased author and that is Kindred by Octavia Butler. I did like this book but again it's not a new favorite book. Again I have not read a five star in a very long time but I was kind of shocked to see that Octavia Butler has passed. Uh, she passed in 2006 so nearly 20 years ago but that, that's the book for um a book from a deceased author. Seven, Baskets, a book that is in your Amazon cart or wish list right now. So I do have this book in my cart, but I am gonna move it to my wish list and look for it at Barnes Noble. And that is, is it Gods of Ruin? God in Ruins. And this is the sequel to Life After Life by Kate Atkinson that I talked about earlier. I don't know if it's exactly a sequel, but more of a companion novel. And since I did enjoy that book, I want to pick up the sequel next. Candy, a book that is sweet. We're going with Still Life by Sarah Winman. This is a historical fiction set during the first half of the last century. I don't remember how far it goes. Actually, it might go all the way late to the 1980s, but the cast of characters are so wholesome 
that it just made me feel so warm inside and that is only a, such a sweet feeling. Lastly, we have peeps, tag people. So if any of you guys would like to do this tag, be sure to tag me so I can see it. And if you just wanna answer these questions, do so in the comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it all the way through, leave a little bunny emoji in the comments below. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell to be notified when all my videos go live. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.